Hey everyone, this is Grace, and happy Monday, and welcome to the last installment of the Christmas in July with Gracie 21 collab, and um, I decided to work with these two, and initially I had planned on using the gilding wax, you know, the copper one that I purchased from Tuesday morning, and then trying the uh, metallic stencil paste on this one. And um, stuff happened this morning. <laughs> you guys know Monday morning is when I reserve um, crafting time for the Christmas in July. And so I thought, you know what? Let's try what they suggest. And if you actually look at the back of this, you'll notice that it's been inked and not used with, you know, the gilding wax is up there. But you'll notice here they've inked it. And then same thing here with this. This one fell apart on me packaging wise. Right? And so I thought, huh, that would be really interesting to try. So worked with these two primarily. And I've got to say, I don't know about anyone else, but I had difficulty working with these 3D embossing folders just because they're a lot thicker. So if you take a look up there, I've got my Spellbinder you know, Caliber, and then I've got my Sizzix Texture Boutique. I tried it on this and it didn't work. It was too thick. I tried it on this. It didn't work. It was too thick. And so guess what I did? I took the plates from my Sizzix and then inserted some paper, sheets of paper to give it a little bit more um, thickness because it wasn't thick enough. And then I ran it through and then it worked beautifully. So for those of you who purchased this and were having difficulty using your um, die cutting machine, that might be an alternative for you to try. So anyway, let me go ahead and share with you the projects. Hold on. All right, so this is what I created. I ran it through, and then um, what I did was I took my dye ink pad from Ranger Denim, and then literally, I kid you not, I know it sounds weird, but you just take it and you just rub it across, and then it creates this nice little inked image of just the raised spots. And then what I wanted to do was to create a little bit more of a focus on the manger itself or the nativity scene. I went ahead with this archival ink, in forget me not and then did it that way so um, did that and then this Christmas village I think came out really nice so yeah and then when you open it I didn't stamp a sentiment yet uh, the person who wins one of these will end up you know you can let me know if you want a sentiment in here and then I can certainly stamp that out and then mail it off so these are my two Christmas cards for the last installment. And then I just wanted to share with you the process. I just took, again, the navy blue from the Recollections paper pad and folded that in half and cut it down, actually, so it fit a 5 by 7 This is the insert, so trimmed it by, what, 4 and a half by seven, uh, 6 and a half so that I had a quarter margin on each, and then I rounded it with this. Um, Daiso, you know, corner punch that I purchased a while back. And then I made two more, and then this one you can see. So it really depends on how much ink you want to put on it. And again, it's 3D embossing, so you get variations. And I guess if you wanted these details, you can um, very selectively run the ink pad over it. And then you'll notice this is a little bit different because what I did was I did the reverse initially where this was the denim and then this was the forget-me-not. And it just didn't look as nice as I wanted it to be. And so I tried this and I think this came out looking a little bit better, right? So anyway, so this is it. So this is my last entry. Um, down the description bar, you guys know, are the links to the other eight women who are participating in this club. I hope you get a chance to check it out. And let me set up for the announcement. Hold on. All right, everyone, I am back to share with you the announcement for the Christmas in July collab with Gracie 21 little card giveaway. So some of you may have already heard about this from my last week's video, but um, this is the final video. And so um, what you're going to be receiving if I select you as the lucky winner is going to be your choice of any of the cards from each of the weeks um, project wise. And so, yeah, 
um, and then I'll mail that off. And I, I figure if you're like me, you always appreciate a stack of handcrafted Christmas cards from some of your crafty friends. And so, yeah, make sure that you leave a comment on every single one of the Christmas in July collab with Gracie 21 videos, at least the ones that I've created, definitely. And here, take a look. In honor to celebrate, do you guys see this? These are my Peanuts gang from Hallmark. Each of these guys plays two different songs and that is Charlie Brown's. Aren't they cute? I know, it's only July and yet I'm excited about Christmas. <laughs> Here, one last little Snoopy rendition and then I will let you guys go. Have a great week, by the way. I hope you get a chance to check out all the other women and the projects that they've created and have a blast. And as you can see, my desk is quite cluttered with stuff that needs to be dealt with. So, Take care, everyone. Have a great week. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.